guys. This is Gabor Gabs Derny here. I'm up here in beautiful Canada at the wonderful Drumio studio. And I'm going to teach you a shuffle groove today that is going to change your life. Now, this groove certainly changed my life when I first heard it from the amazing Steve Gabb, who is a masterful player, an absolute living legend. And one of the most important things that you have to know about him, he's very often played very simple but very effective grooves. Now, this groove is not particularly very, very, very simple but absolutely doable. And what you have to know about it, uh, the most important thing is what is a shuffle groove? Now, the shuffle groove, the shuffle feel is something when you play the first and the last note of the triplets. Now, the triplets are being counted as one and that, two and that, three and that, four and that. You can count them one triplet, two triplet, two, three triplet, four triplet. For me, it's easier to count one and that, two and that, three and that, four and ah. So you end up playing the first and the last note of the triplet, which is one and ah, two and ah, three and ah, four. You just keep the middle note there. Um, so that's the feel. This is what they call the shuffle feel or the swung feel. And we're going to add that one and up, two and up, three and up, the last note of the triplet on the hi-hat played by the left foot. Now, <clears throat> before we do that, I'm just going to demonstrate what these three guys are doing. Right hand, left hand, and the right foot. Okay, I'm playing four on the floor. Boom, ba, gunga, gunga, gunga on the right foot. Quarter notes on the right cymbal together with the right foot. And the snare is going to be on the two and four, which is one, two, three, and four. Okay, one, two. Three. Probably you notice that even though I'm not playing the actual last note of the triplet, when I play these three guys, you can still hear the shuffle beat. The reason for that is because I sang myself the subdivision, the triplet subdivision, which is one and a two and a three, a four, a. The last note of the triplets were in my head. One and a two, a three, a four. It's very important to get the feel right. Whatever you play, it has to feel good, it has to sound good. You probably noticed the way I play um, is not very loud, but still very intense. So I play with intense touch on, on the instrument. Because if, if you play like this, that's not gonna make anybody dance or not gonna make the band sound good. You wanna make the whole band sound because it's such a great rhythm, if you know what I mean. So now that we got this feel happening, we're going to practice it to a slow click to make sure that we, we get the timing and the feel and the sound right. So guys, now that we got the feel down, we're going to add our left foot to it, uh, which is going to play the hi-hat on the last note of the triplet. As I explained before, this is going to be one and up two and up three and up four and up one and up slowly, yeah? So that's gonna be the last note of the triplet and now I'm going to show you the two feet only. One, a two, a three, a four, a It's extremely important that even without the hands and without the backbeat, you gotta get the timing of this shuffle right. Okay, so you, you always sing the subdivision to yourself, one and a two and a three and a four, a one, a two, a three, a four. So the timing of the kick drum and the hi-hat is extremely important. Let's just practice the two feet only uh, to a slow click to make sure that we get the timing and the sound right. So now that we got all the elements down, we're gonna combine them all together and this is what we're going to get. And 
now, let's practice it to a slow and then a faster click. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this great shuffle rhythm. If you want to dive deeper into this, please make sure to click on the link below and sign up for our 30 days free trial on drumio.com and we're going to take your drumming to the next level.